Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Wealth Goodfellow, and tomorrow I'm going to be taking on the Everesting Challenge by bike. So what the challenge is, is cresting the height of Everest, so 8,850 metres, on a single climb, in a single ride, just doing reps over and over and over again. The climb I've chosen to do this on is a local one to me called Gummer's Howe, otherwise known as Fellfoot Brow. The climb itself is 1.5 kilometres in length at 11% gradient. So in order to get up to that 8850, that's 55 laps and nearly 100 miles. It's going to be a big old day. This is what it looks like on the map. You can see the gradient's fairly consistent. There are a few pitches and a few eases off, but all in all quite consistent. On this Strava segment, it reckons the maximum is only 14 degrees, but I don't think that's true. I think it definitely goes deeper than that. Expecting each climb to take about 8 minutes, and each descent to take about 2 minutes. And for me, that's an average power goal of 260 watts, when I weigh about 64 kilograms, and the bike will be around 10 kilograms. Which, putting it into this fancy calculator online, works out at about 7,000 calories for the day. So it's going to be a big one. Anyway, I'll show you the food, the, the food and fueling I'll be using as well as my bike setup. Hope you enjoy. So this is my setup for the everything attempt. Got a few different bottles. I'm going to try and have about 300 milliliters in a bottle at a time. Drink that on the descent, then carry empty bottle up, and hopefully get someone nice to fill them up at the top. So I'm never carrying a full bottle, only enough that I need need for that rep or two reps. On the left we got standard, oh, we got caffeinated energy gels. Then we've got the classic Kendall mint cake blocks. Some rice cakes. Energy gels that aren't caffeinated. And some more sort of savoury standard food. And the protein mix for the end. Everything here sort of splits down into 20 slash 30 gram sections. So I've broken these blocks up. You see? So every 20 minutes I'll try and get 20 to 30 grams in, and that should keep me going. I think fuel is going to be the main challenge for this event. So we'll see how we get on. So here's the bike set up I'm going to be using for the Everest. It's my pretty old now Trek Madone, bought second hand. Got a spare set of wheels. The main worry has got to be the gearing. We're on a 52-36 with a 30-11 at the back. And there's some big pitches on the Gummer's How climb. Let's see how we get on. Just running the one bottle cage. Only ever have about 300 milliliters in the bottle at one time. Save as much weight as possible. Hopefully, it gets me through.